Okay, we're back in Adobe Bridge uh, here now, and you can see that Bridge has updated our uh, preview to uh, show all the changes that we just made to it. Uh, so again, we got a good looking picture here. Uh, everything looks fine. Now let's uh, let's do all those same changes to one of these other pictures. Let's say we wanted to use this picture right here, and you can see that uh, again, this picture has a very dull color. Uh, it's not very sharp. The contrast really isn't there. You can just tell looking in between these two pictures here, you got uh, one really gray, uh, one really pops. So, what are we going to do? We're going to copy all those changes we just made and put them in our new picture. Well, actually, what we can do is we can take and right click, come down to develop settings, and previous conversion. Wow, previous conversion. So, it's going to take all those changes we made in our last image and it's going to uh, put all those changes onto our picture. So we don't got to go back into Camera Raw, open it up and make all those same changes. We can just uh, do them all at once, just like that. Same thing here. Not a great picture, but develop settings, previous conversion, bing, pops up real nice. So we can even grab four pictures at a time and go ahead and get it gets uh, out of your window here but we're doing previous conversion and all those pictures you're going to start to see pop 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 uh, you can do a, four pictures you can do 400 pictures just like this if you wanted to so once you make all your changes uh, using something with a, a reference card or a gray balance card uh, something that's well exposed the way you want it go ahead and you edit that picture that one picture then you pick any other picture that you decide you want to use and I think for the rest of this we'll probably use we'll use this picture. That's a halfway decent picture there. Let's go ahead and do the previous conversion. Give us that nice uh, uh, that nice edit to it. We're gonna go ahead and double click on it. It's gonna bring it up in Camera Raw, and we will actually go ahead and leave everything the way it is and we're going to open this in Photoshop and in our next video we'll start doing some Photoshop stuff